Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I'm gonna be extending the lug studs on this Gen 2 or 2009 Toyota Tacoma pre-runner. It's rear-wheel drive, so got a lot less going on in front, makes this job super easy, although this may translate to the four-wheel drive as well. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we put some larger wheels and, of course, tires on this truck, and when putting the wheels on and putting the lug nuts on, the lug nuts were really only catching like a few threads at the very end and just wasn't safe. So, had to do the brakes today, so I figured perfect time to also do the lug studs as well. Now, the lug studs that I'm using are these. Dorman part number. I just got them from my local O'Reilly Auto Parts. And compared to the stock lug stud, look at that. You can see we're going to be grabbing quite a few more threads. So pretty stoked on the safety of this. Now you can actually order these longer lug studs from the Toyota dealership because these are actually a genuine Toyota part. I just got these off of a different Toyota model. Pretty interesting. So I'll, I'll link that information in the description below. And also for these lug studs and to fit the wheels, I got a different lug nut as well. One that is open, but also has that little acorn shape. So it'll allow, if we have more threads than we need, it'll allow those to come through. And you can see this right here is the lug nut that we were using before on the wheels with our other lug studs and we were really only catching just the last few threads of these and yeah, I just was not feeling safe about it. So, all right, today we're gonna be replacing these. Let's get right into it. Tools you're gonna need to do this job. Pair of pliers, I like these flat ones for bending the backing plate. A little bit of lube, any lube will do. I used a large nut pretty much just for a spacer, something that will fit over these lug studs. You're also going to need a lug nut, a sacrificial one for driving these home. And like this one is obviously special key, so I had the key for that and an impact to correspond with that. I then also had another lug nut that I used just to make sure that the threads are good after driving these things in. An air hammer, but honestly these things are not in there that tight, so really a massive hammer and a chisel would do just fine. And then as far as parts go, obviously we have six lug wheels on this Tacoma. So I needed six per side, six times four is 24. So I bought 24 total for our massive wheels. And then of course I got different lug nuts as well. Some acorn styles that they'll seat properly, but then also an open end. I will link all these in the description below. These are actually OE studs for a Toyota Matrix. I'm gonna link those in the description as well. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm doing the brakes already, so everything is already off. If you're curious how to get everything off and what order to take everything off in, I will link my brake video in the description below, but I think this one is gonna be posted first, so stay tuned, people. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend this backing plate a little bit, and I'm gonna do that with my Capri Tools pliers. You can see they're nice and smooth, so I'm not gonna like damage this at all, and they're pretty long, so I'm gonna get a good grip. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bend backwards like so and that is totally going to give me enough clearance to get these studs out. I've got this sacrificial lug nut. This is just one that I don't even know where I got this or how long I've had this but the reason I like this one is because it has a little indentation on the top of it so it's really perfect for my air hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this on and I'm actually threading it on quite a bit of the ways just because I don't want to damage these studs. Like let's say I made an error and the new lug studs aren't going to work or let's say I want to use these lug studs on something else. There's no reason to damage these for no reason, people. So, and now I get to use one of my favorite tools in the universe, <laughs> an air hammer. This is from uh, Capri Tools, but honestly like a hammer hammer would work as well. These really are not in there that tight. But we're just going to go ahead. That's it. And may I also recommend some hearing protection? <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna take this off and we're gonna repeat that for the other five of these lug studs. So obviously there's six total, so when I'm ordering all of them for all four wheels, we're doing 24. And look at that, the threads still look beautiful. This has been removed totally unscathed, so yay. All right. So now that all six have been removed, <laughs> it's time to put the six new ones back in. I'm gonna do this with a little bit of lube, really any lube will do. Just gonna spray a little bit on the base 
just a little bit of an angle, you can get that new stud installed. I just have a random nut that fits over the end. And then I have a sacrificial lug nut. You can see how damaged it is because I've already done the other side. Now this one, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to be using these lug nuts again. Um, this is the one I'm just going to use to drive every single one of these in. And I have, of course, the other lug nuts here. So after I drive it in, I'm just going to make sure that I didn't overstress the stud by threading another lug nut onto every single stud and just verifying that the threads have not been stretched or pulled or damaged or anything at all. I'm just double checking every single one of these because you are going to use quite a bit of force to pull these on. So let me demonstrate now. Threading it on by hand carefully first just to make sure that I've got everything lined up. If these weren't garbage, I would never say to use an impact on these sockets with these style of nuts. Just, just don't. However, like I said, I'm using these as a tool now since I'm going to be getting rid of them and not using them, so. The rules do not apply, people. And just torque her down. And that's it, you just keep on going until it's seated. <laughs> Grab a good lug nut, or, I mean, once again, this is one of the ones I'm throwing away, but, it will still indicate to me whether or not the threads are messed up, right? So I'm just going all the way down to where the nut is bottoming out <laughs> and just making sure that the threads are in good shape and they totally are. So I just went until this is seated. There is no gap going on there. So I just tighten it until the gap is gone. You know, I just stop there. There's no need to over tighten it. It's, it's stuck in there. It's not going anywhere. And that's it. All right, let's do another one. Let's do all of them. And for the last step, of course, we can't forget to just bend this little backing plate back to where it belongs. That looks pretty good. Cool, very professional. You can't even tell I was in there. And now to replace our lug studs in the rear. And this is just coinciding with me doing the drum brakes, so happens to be pretty convenient, but you don't have to take everything apart in order to do this job, actually. I only will remove this teeny, teeny, tiny little spring that holds on this tab that's the adjuster, basically, for the um, star wheel, which moves the shoes in and out. So you don't have to know anything about drum brakes. You don't have to do any drum brakes in order to do this job. It's just gonna be a small removal of this spring and this one little plate, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. If you are, however, interested in my drum break video, which I'm filming right now as well, I will link that in the description below. However, it's probably not out just yet at the release of this video because that one is gonna take quite a bit more editing time. So I'm sure that this video with the studs will be out first, but yeah, stay tuned to my drum break video, which um, is gonna be excellent. So all right, let's go ahead and remove this tiny little spring and this little plate this little adjuster for the star wheel. Nice, here's a close up. Here's what we'll be removing, this little spring right here and this little plate. Now you actually can definitely sort of coax these out in this space as well. So you don't have to do this if you're really nervous about messing with drum brakes at all or any of these little springs. I just find it so much easier. We're just gonna go ahead and with one of my special drum brake tools, I love this thing, can't do drum brakes without this. I'm just gonna sneak in and pull this little fella out. And then pull this plate forward without ruining the light for you guys. So you can actually see. And just sneak that out, just like that. So now you can really see that I have this massive space to work with back there for pounding every single one of these studs out. 
So that's gonna really help. And it also just lessens the chance that you're gonna end up damaging that little piece or bending that so you won't be able to adjust your shoes in the future. for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video whether you're using it because you broke a lug stud and just needed to replace one or if you're gonna do like us and install extended length lug studs hope this helped out and I will see you in my next video bye Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, darling. Hi, darling. Is it bedtime? Maybe? It's bedtime, sweetie. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hi, darling. Are you so hot and sweaty? It's so hot today. Oh, it's so hot. I know. Good little girl.